Tell me it's real. I hope it's real. What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. And this is just a quick little bit of news for something that I actually get excited about. I don't know how old you guys, but myself being closer to 40 than I am 30. I have a long history of video games I've fallen in love with over the last few years. And in the Resident Evil series, there's quite a few that really stand out for me. And one of those in the original tank versions of Resident Evil was Resident Evil Code Veronica. It came out on Dreamcast. I think it came out later on PlayStation 2. And it was great. It had a deep story. It involved Claire Redfield and some goofy guy who I can't remember. And you could also play as Chris in the game. It was very fun, uh, and it was about the Ashford family and this huge mansion, and it was really creepy, and apparently it's just been rated for PlayStation 4. I'll drop a link in the description. Resident Evil Code Veronica rated for PS4 release. This is good news. It's bittersweet. I don't know exactly what they're going to do. If they do the same thing they did with like Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil Remake, I'd be happy. If they clean it up, and they gave it high definition graphics, and made it look, oh man, it would be amazing. Capcom is keeping the Resident Evil remasters rolling with one of the franchise's most polarizing entries now aimed for a PS4 release. Well, allegedly aimed. The German SUSK has rated Resident Evil Co. Veronica for a PlayStation release, hinting that we might get information in an announcement soon. Co. Veronica was originally released on the Dreamcast before making its way to PlayStation 2 and GameCube, and an HD version was put out on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in 2011, meaning that this re-release on modern consoles is entirely unexpected. We'll wait for Capcom to give an official word before declaring that this is a certainty, but given the series' recent history, yeah, it's likely to happen. Uh, this is awesome to me. Resident Evil Co. Veronica, you know, certain games don't age well, and like looking at Co. Veronica now and looking at the CG and the character models, it looks like poop. I have Code Veronica over there, but if they re-release this thing on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Scorpio, PS4 Pro, I'd definitely get back into it because it's a story that needs to be heard, and it's a game that needs to be played. If you guys have not played the old Resident Evils, what have you been doing with your life? You need to jump on that. You need to like jump on that now. You guys let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite Resident Evil game? I would say that my favorite, and I'm sure everybody would agree, is Resident Evil 4, followed closely by Resident Evil 2. I think Resident Evil 2 was incredible, uh, but I'm not putting Resident Evil 7 in that mix because I have it on VR and I haven't beat it, and I can't put my opinion on there yet. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video, and if you make your own content and you have your own thoughts on video game topics, share it at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.